If you're tuning into this message, it's because you're ready to step into your full blown power. And when we step into our power, it's when we become clear about where we're going next. And in order to do that, we need to back ourselves. We need to tap into our self-worth and we need to set up boundaries, boundaries so that we're not getting, you know, pushed around by other people's energies, by their thoughts, by um, their plan, because this is our world and our life and our universe. And it's time to take our control back for ourselves. And it doesn't have to be through resentment or anger or, or anything like that. It needs to come from a place of love. And when it comes from love, forgiveness, it is just so much more powerful and we get shit done. Are you ready to get back your boundaries? Are you ready to know your self-worth? Because Spirit's saying that we all need to hear these messages today. Thank you if you've been here to my channel before. And for your newbies, Welcome. Feel free to like, share, subscribe and all those YouTube algorithm things. And let's get started and see what we all need to hear right now. And it doesn't matter when you're listening to this message. It is current for the time you have your ears open, your heart open and you're ready to receive. Let's get to it. All right, number one, number one, I'm tuning into your energy, guys, and, mate, it feels very restricted. It feels very tight. It's like it, you're wanting things to change, but you're in a state of freeze, and it could be that you're feeling stuck or that you're quite rigid with the way things are or even you could be just set on robot mode. Like it's, it's like you're very hard to budge. Now, my back was um, out of alignment the last couple of weeks and it was sort of jarred right up top, just jarred like that. And that's what I'm getting almost um, drawn to, the feeling of having like, you know, you, some of you may very well have a back that needs a bit of adjustment or, or some part of your body that's meant to be flowing and moving. But I feel like you're absolutely jarred, but it just needs a release to be able to contract again okay um so i feel as though yeah there's a like i know i did doors on this reading and when i tune into your door it's like deadlocked it's like you're not getting in you're very closed um and this will be you know it's a it's a general reading take what resonates but it, it feels like you're very closed and very um you want it you you want to open up but it's like you're and it's not even fearful. I don't feel like you're fearful. It's like you've just trained yourself to protect your heart. And in the protection, it's really hard to let someone in. You want to love them. You do love them. You want to love them. But it's like it's hard to tap, tap into that love. It's hard to tap into the joy when you're looking around. Um, you're, you know you should be appreciative um, and really grateful for what's happening around you in the in your world because you've got some great relationships, you've got some great connections, but it's inside that you're not feeling it like you should. You're not flowing. The emotion, you're not letting yourself out because of past experiences, um, how people that you've trusted have, have hurt you um, or taken advantage of you. So you've almost shut down emotionally. This is what I'm feeling. It's like this, this big boom, shut. So it's almost subconscious for you. It's not deliberate you want to change it's like you've got this spirit's handing you this big fat key to say let's time to open up your heart space this is very much a heart space reading because once you allow yourself to work through those emotions that are just sitting here you're going to realize that you're a freaking superstar and that you've done the best you've ever known how 
because it's time that you realize how freaking magical you are. And this is where the self-worth comes in because it's not that you think you're a bad person or anything like that. It's just that you don't think about it at all. It's like it's switched off. It's just switched off. So you've, you've just switched off the emotional key. And it's time now to start tapping back into it. And don't be surprised if there's an influx as you release the valve, but it's all going to be flowing very, very soon. And that's why you've chosen number one, because you're ready to unlock the Tin Man and give him a heart. That's where we're at. And I do feel like this is for you. You know, you, you may feel like, oh, that's not me. That's my partner or that's my dad or that's my ex or that's whatever. And it's just like, okay, okay. Bring it back, baby. Bring it back because this is all about you, okay? And we are a reflection of the of the company we keep anyway. Let's get some cards and get some more info as to... Oh, I like this one. All right. Mm, okay. First, we have the manifestation card. Now, with the manifestation card, you can see here with this card that... Oh, it's bloody beautiful. See, I've, I use these cards all the time and I see different things every time I pull them out. Now, as you can see, this beautiful angel, I would suggest, has the beautiful wings and the eyes closed, really feeling in, really feeling inward. Now, also the hands are cupped around the heart space because we're ready to nurture whatever comes up for us. Now, when we unlock our heart space, it can be scary. We don't know what we've switched off in there we don't know what we're storing in there but i guarantee that the the flow that will come now will absolutely help you flow into the direction that you absolutely want but you've got to go internal for this one my baby you've got to go internal you're the one that can only do this work it's not external work at all it's not people around you it's not experiences you've been through it's none of that it's like literally closing your eyes trusting source trusting spirit trusting your guides and and knowing the your worth knowing your worth and in order to do that it's it's an intention it, it, you set that actual intention that's what this is so it's like sit still close your eyes call spirit in and you can do that anyway, and everything's intention. So you can just say, Spirit, come close. I need your guidance now because it's time that I start manifesting what I actually want. And in that manifestation, you'll find that it's like this door opens up. It's like, boom, you'll get a rush of energy where it's like a download or an aha moment, and it will open up. And then the doors almost put a beautiful safe fence around you so it's not just this lock and key over your heart space it moves out into like your auric field and it's gentle and it's a beautiful fence around you because then it protects you but allows you to feel as well so it, it opens your heart to emotion but also gives you the protection in in your auric field um to allow others in but it's like a fence around you an invisible shield almost and the next card we get is raise your vibration now in order to open our heart start focusing on what we want our vibration automatically lifts we have no choice and when you're oh and you can see the beautiful it's almost like going straight through the center it's opening up you can see your heart space just opening up bubbling over and absolutely just expanding now now, don't be scared of this some of you that do this um, will actually be quite scared by it because it'll be unfamiliar it's something you haven't done for a very long time I would say 10 years for some of you um, and know that when this bursts out it will be just like a flow of excitement but you're not sure what you're excited about um, it'll be like I have choices I'm not stuck are you saying that um, if I focus on opening my heart I can actually get a different frequency and a different space in my world because that's what's happening for you so you come to this reading completely numb almost and spirits giving you the guidance as to what to do because it's time that you realize how magical you are and you switch on your manifesting capabilities because we've all got them but it's like you are happy for other people it's just that your body doesn't feel it 
up until now, my darlings, up until now. And finally, it's take charge and action. Of course, take charge and action. So you'll see that there's an invisible arrow. And I say invisible because it feels like it's just hovering above his hands there. And with that, it's like you're equipped, but it's not something physical. It's something absolutely energetic. And it's when you open your heart, you get that beautiful space around you. So whether you visualize a beautiful golden orb around you or, you know, the fences, what I t tend to do is open up my heart and send a radiation of love out. And what that does is instead of... Um, pushes people away from me it actually attracts the right people but keeps other vibrations away so that's what this is really recommending spirits recommending for you but there's action you need to take you can't actually sit here and and just presume that it will work it won't work until you um, set the intention sit with spirit and it might only be five or ten minutes a day where you just sit close your eyes Allow a beautiful light coming down from the heavens around your heart space and, and, you know, ask for it to beam out, to absolutely beam out. And when you do that, that's you absolutely taking charge and taking action. Now, you may not know where this will lead to, and that's what scares you the most because you like to know where things go and, and what to expect. Now, you're in a time of not knowing exactly what's going on or where you're going next. And when you open your heart, it makes no difference where you go next, okay? It makes no difference where you go next. Because when your heart's open, it's always going to be correct. It's absolutely always going to be correct. And I'm just going to finish with one card. It's Angel Answers. And I want you to just close your eyes for a moment. And I want you to ask a question, all right? Any question you need to answer to have answered from your angels, your, your spirit team. And I want you to trust that this is your right answer because you used your intuition and chose number one. And that, my darling, name answer is <laughs> this one. Ask for help from others. So if you are stuck with how to open your heart, if you feel like you need help for people to sit beside you while you channel spirit, if you want to do that, you can ask. I do feel like that part is, is a single journey. I feel like you're going to do that on your own, but you may want to sit in a circle. You may want to connect more with spirit. You may want to ask someone else to cook dinner. You may want to ask someone to watch your children. You may want to ask so many things, but you don't because when you ask, you feel vulnerable and not enough and that's the self-esteem right there when you start asking for what you truly want you will start receiving it and then there'll be reciprocal opportunities for you to give as well that's what's going to open your heart my darling giving and receiving it's got to be a two-way street for you not a one-way street anymore and that, my darling, is your reading for number one. Well done for choosing your intuition because that was a really big one and you are ready to hear that. Don't you doubt yourself any longer. And don't forget to stay to the end so I can give you an opportunity to win a one-on-one -on -one reading with myself for the month of April. And I'll let you know at the end. All right, number two. Oh, wow. Aren't you a sweetie? Aren't you a sweetie pie? Honey, I've got... A big reading for you because in this energy I feel like you're almost drifting in the wind this one's a double-edged sword reading because in the drifting it's beautiful it's angelic it's whatever but it's easy for people to see you as a bit of a pushover don't forget this is a a general reading take what resonates but this is what spirit's giving me i feel like you're almost a gentle feather floating and the wind blows and you go that way that way and it's it's nice at times you you're quite an escapist so i wouldn't be surprised if you um oh mate i'll tell you me over the school holidays i switch off from work and i just be you know attentive to the children and, and all that sort of stuff and i become unbalanced imbalanced because i really like my connection with spirit i really like my connection with with you guys and i find it really hard to not have that so i'm working out how to balance when i'm not all in with work so i feel that with you it's like well if you're not connected to something you can easily 
just float around aimlessly. And it's not a bad place to be, but you can easily get sidetracked. I wouldn't be surprised if some of you have like so many tabs open on your computer screen when you're trying to do one thing and then you go, oh, that's right, I've got to go here and do this. Then something pops up a notification. Then the next thing you're over here and next thing you're watching reels. And it's like, well, what was I doing? And then by the end of the day, you in bed, you fall asleep, you go, oh my God, I was meant to do that. You were doing it. But then, but then life interrupted you because you were just, ooh. So for you to get your power back, you need to start getting schedules set. You need to give yourself a goal in the morning. And it doesn't have to be big, but it needs to be at least one goal to have it accomplished by the end of the day. So you feel like you're chipping away at where you want to go. Let's get you some cards, my darling, because you're at a point now where you're looking for direction, but it's almost like you want to be told what to do. <laughs> We've got do the work. Do the work, honey. Now, do the work's all about if you can see that beautiful star, it's within arm's reach, the hands below the star. So it's hovering and it's over your heart space. So you've got the skill set. You've got the know-how. It's just a matter of, it feels as though it's almost, you just haven't got, you're not touching it. That's how it feels. That's what's standing out to me the most. And it's like, well, g give me the instructions then. What is it? Well, you know what? Our spirit. Because your connection with spirit is enhancing to new levels currently. And sometimes because you're sort of disconnected, you're here, then there and everywhere, you're missing the signs and synchronicities that are happening at a human level. So in order for you to get that, uh, that, that worth and that self-esteem, that's where you congratulate yourself at the end of the day because you ticked something off your bucket list or your to-do list. And it could simply be that you wanted to get all the washing done by the end of the day. That's a huge deal. Trust me, I know. Um, or it could be that by the end of the week, you want to finish a book you've been reading or you want to apply for a job. Now, when you apply for new jobs, Remember that they're into, you're, you're interviewing them as well, right? Don't decide on a job until you've got it. Don't go, oh, I don't want that job, don't apply. Just apply for everything. And then when they say you've got it, then have a think about it and how it will work for you and then go and negotiate. Crazy, huh? Because you're aimlessly doing this energetically and you're going from one thing to the other and you're not committing. The commitment here is, is hard to tune into. And look, some of us, no doubt, are like, you know, ADHD and all those letters. And uh, most of us are that anyway in the, in, with the amount of preservatives in our food, let's be honest. Um, but there's... there's um, I don't care about labels. I don't I don't care about all of that stuff. We're all human and we're doing the human existence and experience. And for you, sometimes it's hard to be human and that's okay. Um, but it's time that you literally commit to what it is you want to achieve. Who do you want to be? At your eulogy, what do you want them to be saying about you? Because it is now, it is now for you. The time is for you now to literally work out what it is you want to do to get to where you're going because you've got the skill set. It's just a matter of one foot in front of the other is where you're struggling the most. And once you get that, that's going to give you so much more worth, the self-worth. You like to be told by other people how good you're doing, which is fine. I get that. But when you're not getting it, you're not feeling it. But the thing is, Spirit's here to say, mate, you should be feeling that every freaking day because you are sensational. But it's very hard for you to feel that when you're not feeling um, accomplished by the end of the day every single day. You need to have that little uh, bit of ha ah, at the end of the day when you rest your head on your pillow. Okay, so Spirit's saying, do the work, do the work. Now, in that space as well... You don't have to just be obliging of everybody's wants and needs because I feel like you're a yes person. It's like, yep, yep, leave it with me, leave me with me. And you, you like to sort of get sidetracked to do something for someone else. I know sometimes when I'm working and um, I'm doing something I hate, next thing you know, I've picked up the phone to chat to someone. 
And it's not even related. It's because I just don't want to do what I was doing. But had I sat there for another 30 minutes, I would have smashed it. And then I could sit there chatting to someone. And I feel that energy in this reading. All right. So next card is honesty and communication. Now, it's very interesting because if you see the first card and the second card, it's almost like very similar. See how it's almost like... Uh, a womb space, you know, it's, it's got that, that I, I just see womb space. That's what it reminds me of. And the honesty and the communication, this is where you're going to have to start saying that really, really nasty word that starts with N and ends with O. No, no, thank you. And I've said this in many readings before, and I wouldn't be surprised if you heard my readings before where it's time to, you know, really put your boundaries up by just saying, no, thank you, that's not for me. And it's not what you say, it's how you say it. And sometimes it's just, hell no. <laughs> I know sometimes my husband goes, that's a negative. And I'm like, ugh. But you know what? That's a negative. So no. That's a no. And that's something you can start incorporating into your communication because that's honest. And a lot of the time I can feel that you're letting yourself just gently fly around on everybody else's agenda and not your own. And it's not working for you anymore. Um, yeah. And you'll also see the beautiful slight feathers up the top of that card too. Oh, and I just realized there's an om on top of her head. See the little symbol on top of her head? That That's an om. In other words, that's that's the divine, that's God, that's angels, that's spirit, whatever it is, it's, it's everything. We're all connected. And instead of you floating around, it's now time for you to be honest to yourself and stand in that power because when you speak your truth, you feel more connected to everyone everything all right and last but not least we've got holy love <laughs> holy love oh it is gorgeous you are such a gentle soul and i know why spirit's shown me a feather because that's you you're just so gentle you're so flowing and in this holy love it's, it's simply love and again you've got a spiral above your head here as well and you've got all the flowers that bloom so i know that when you're getting the love and the praise you bloom beautifully and then i know that you can easily equally close up when you're not getting that recognition or that um, awareness of others around you and i know that spirit's saying let's switch and not rely so much on everybody else's input on who you are because it's time that you really Realize who you become and that's where you're going to get the most worth when you realize who you are unapologetically you also that's where the boundaries come in where people will only treat you the way you allow them so some of you would have been through a lot of really harsh relationships where people would have just walked all over you like a doormat and it's something that is not aligned with your vibration anymore it's something that uh, you just can't put up with um, and it's interesting because some of you that are still putting up with that it's not like you're trying to fight it or anything it's like you just shut down and become quite numb about it and spirits going okay time out let's bring in the love the holy love because it's time that you let your heart open like a bloom and it's similar similar to the first reading but very different um but don't you may want to listen to that one as well um but it's time that that's what spirit's giving you now just to finish up your reading i want you to close that down your eyes and this is the beautiful angel answer oracle cards and i want you to ask a question of spirit where you need an answer so take your time close your eyes down Ask your question and I'm going to pull out one simple card for you to finish up. And your answer, my sweetheart, is within the next few months. And if you have a look at this, there is quite a few golden stairs to that temple. So it is within reach. Keep focusing on what you truly desire because where your intention goes, your energy flows and you will create it. Time to shift, time to get clear, schedule what it is you want to achieve and where you want to go because that's that's the spirit's message for you today, my darling, because that's where the self-worth and the boundaries come on in. You are a superstar. Do not forget to listen to the end so I can give you an opportunity to win a one-on-one -on -one reading with myself.
Okay, and finally, number three. You know, when I go into this energy, I feel as if you have got a wicked sense of humor. I feel like you are a bundle of joy. You're like a bunch of helium balloons. You're like a just any decoration that makes a party better. Like seriously, you're like a popping a champagne <laughs> bottle, like that sound, you know? Just the amount of energy and joy that you have to offer is next level. Now, this is a general reading, take what resonates, but if you feel like straight away you're going, no, no, that's not me, I'm gonna call bullshit because you used your intuition and you chose number three and this is something that needs to be remembered, it needs to come out, it needs to be harnessed and that's where, my darling, you're going to get your biggest breakthroughs because I feel like with you, you're at um, a real crossroad where you're about to embark on a part of your life that you almost don't see coming and it's for the best it's for the highest good of everyone it's something that you've wished for and and for some of you it's like you've wished for it and then you put it aside you completely forgot about it and the universe has stepped in and popped everything in place so that it's about to work out for you and i feel as though this is coming rather than than happened already okay now for some of you i get pregnancy so i feel like there might be a few of you that have just been on an ivf journey or, or maybe potentially and this will be a small percentage that maybe have uh, had miscarriage or, or something devastating like that but you know what it's interesting what what spirit gives me because i've always been in a sales background you know in a, in a past life <laughs> Um, and we always said every no is exciting because it gets you closer to your next yes. And it's interesting that I'm using a sales analogy with pregnancy loss because that's, you know, it almost takes all the emotion out of it. But I also know personally I've had four miscarriages and then finally when I had that baby in my belly that I knew, I knew he was staying. And then when he was uh, six months old and I was still breastfeeding, all of a sudden, bang, I got pregnant again. And it was purely because I just put it out there and let it go. I literally let it go because I didn't want to... Um, obsess over it. Trust me, there was times where I did, but the time that I actually got pregnant and stayed pregnant is because I just let it go. I was like, nah, if the baby comes now, it comes. And of course, here we are very blessed. So my point being, that will resonate with the baby analogy for some of you, but it's also the infancy of what's about to become reality for you next. Now, don't be surprised if it comes left field and you're already going on a different path and you've just gone, hang on a minute. Oh, that's right. I did wish for that. And I did watch a movie with the kids the other day called Wish. It was actually a very cool movie. I do recommend if you want to make some, bring some magic into your world to watch that. Um, but it's like for this one, it's it's bring those wishes back to life. And it may very well be something you always wanted to do or be when you were a child. And now it's sort of things, you know, are popping up where you're going, oh my gosh, maybe I, it's not too late for me. And that's where you're going to bring the joy, the fun back into it. And the card I get to you, <laughs> how's that? Do the work, my darling. I got this card for another reading. Now with this one, it's completely different for the other reading that I got it. Got it for. So when I look at this, you know what stands out to me? The smile, the actual confidence and the knowing. If you look into the eyes of this beautiful soul, you will see that they're not really fussed. They're like, I've got work to do and I'm going to do it. Um, and that's the energy that I'm getting from this. Now, if you see the pattern behind, now earlier, um, that looked like a womb to me, but in this one, it's almost like a canara, you know, like a, a fireplace, it, it's bringing the heat. So I feel like the heat is behind you and it's pushing you along to urge you. All right, you've got the heat on now. In other words, it's time for you to move forward and get this done. Get this done. Bring this joy back to your world. Bring this goal back into focus because you've put the wish out there. The universe has conspired and, and 
brought it to you and changed things around. And now you're going to find yourself with it smash bang there in your face. You asked for it. Remember that. So now you're welcome to receive. You're absolutely welcome to receive, but you do need to do the work. The next card that we get is friendship and union. Now, uh, it's interesting because even though it says friendship and union and they're, you know, smiling at each other and it almost looks like they're forming the shape of a heart here, you can see the, the lady here in the green, she's got her eyes closed, she's leaning back and she's just trusting and going with it. Whereas the other woman has her eyes open, it's almost like she needs to watch what, you know, where that hand is so she doesn't miss it you know what I mean and that's the type of feel that I'm getting here so there's a bit of yin and yang there, there's there could be a two-way street in whatever this is that you're uh, I, I feel like there actually needs to be someone that comes in to help bring this to fruition whether it be a partnership some of you are looking at and if there is a partnership here make sure that if there's any contracts there should be some agreements that all your I's are dotted, your T's across that type of thing. Be very diligent on what you're agreeing because you do need someone to balance you just for a few steps. You can keep bringing them if you want, but you don't need to. But there is a place here for some assistance. Um, and, and I really feel like it will be through someone you truly admire. Someone you truly admire. And I do feel like you actually do know them or know of them, whether it be a friend's friend, but they're already in your energy field already, okay? And they're going to be able to help you with getting to wherever it is that you want to go next. You're pretty powerful in, in your self-belief um, and you've got a guardian angel too as well. And how very interesting, because again, I have used this card a million times, but um, what I'm seeing for the first time ever is the beautiful lights around her head. And it almost looks like stained glass windows, like from a church even. And so I wouldn't be surprised if there's a real religious connection here. And if it's not with you, I would feel like someone in spirit that would be religious, whether they sang in a church choir or, you know, gave, did the Hail Mary or actually gave you a, a rosary beads or, or something along. I feel like it's Catholic for some reason. It's more of a Catholic religion. Um, there's a connection here that's coming in. So know that they're very close. They're very close to you and you're feeling into their energy because they're helping you not only with where you're going, but the union you're going to form along the way because there really is, and you know what, actually, for some of you and a small part of you, there may not be an actual person here that you're going to vibe in for this journey. It can definitely be that soul in spirit that's guiding you along the way. Now, listen out for songs on the radio. There's going to be words um, in the on the radio uh, YouTube, wherever you're listening to music, which will really stand out to you. And that will be a real good guide for where you're at and where you're going on this venture. Because when you bring the joy and the fun into it, you are on fire. You smash it. You absolutely smash it. People want to be around you. They want to know what you're doing. But with this, keep it nice and close. Keep it nice and personal. Just like, uh, you know, the pregnancy where we've been told, <clears throat> excuse me, to to not share the news for the first trimester. There's almost like a trimester, a first trimester, where you sort of want to nut things out and, and just go with the flow and, and do it in your own space rather than just going and, you know, sharing it with the world when it's in its infancy, okay? When it's in its infancy. That's where you get your most power from, where you are uh, are sure about what you're delivering, what you're delivering. Oh God, I'd really love to hear what this is. This is because when I'm tuning into you guys, it, it feels so different because I sort of go from one of you to another one and to a group of you, and and I know that this reading's for all of you, but I want to know how it's for you because I'm just a sticky nose like that. I drop some cards. Hang on. So feel free to pop that in the comments. But just to tie this up. And just to finish, what I want you to do is take advantage of these beautiful angel answer oracle cards that I have here. I want you to close down your eyes and I want you to ask spirit a question. And I'm going to pull one card for your answer. Go for it. 
<sighs> this one. If you believe, it is simple as that. If you believe. You've got a lot of spirit work around you, a lot of uh, spirit workers, I should even say, your spirit team, your past loved ones, they're all very much around you. If you believe, it is to be. And that, my darling, is your answer from spirit for number three. Thank you all so much for tuning in this week. I hope you enjoyed your messages and don't forget to like, share, subscribe. And the way that I'm going to let you enter today is I want you to pop in the comments below to win a one-on-one -on -one reading with me for the month of April is when do you know 100% spirit is with you? When do you know undeniably when spirit is with you? Pop it in the comments and guys, like each other's comments and feel free to compare notes and, and you know, have a little bit of communication down there because we're all like-minded, right? Take care, beautiful. Thanks so much for tuning in. Have the best week ahead and be kind to others, but especially, my darling, be kind to yourself. And don't forget to check my description with all my upcoming events. Take care. Peace out.